You're the claiming. You're making claims, and when challenged with those claims, you're saying I'm just a visitor. You just want to be dismissive and not engage in conversation. No. If you make a claim, the simple rule is this: substantiate with evidence. Otherwise, leave that claim aside. It's common sense. This is moving forward. Because you are not proving your claims. I'm saying it's pretty much accepted. It's in mainstream. Is it well, not pretty much accepted? accepted that Prophet what? Muhammad Sallallahu is a messenger of God? In Muslim, yes. Why don't you accept it? Because that is a thing. But with me, I'm not talking about... Why not talking about Muslim anymore? Why anymore? Why do you not accept Prophet Muhammad? Why do you both not accept? Let us speak, man. Sorry? If she wants to speak, let her speak. Because okay. I'm talking to you. But if she wanted to speak, okay, okay, what's wrong okay, with that? Okay, because there's two Suppress her from speaking. There's two of us talking. No. When she wanted to speak, yes. let her speak. Okay, okay. Let's not do this. You can continue. Can you, can you not speak? Know your place here. Oh. Oh. Okay. So basically, you are a murtad. Is that what you're saying? Where is Christianity? You're telling me that now. What were these? What was this when, when they were passing up? Do you know what these are? You don't know? These ones are microphones. When they are popped, so you didn't realize they are microphones. I didn't know this. Okay, fair enough. Speaker's corner is a public place. It's not a Actually, those who come to Speaker's corner should know that we were going to be recorded. If you don't want to be recorded and you see the cameras, you say otherwise. No, really, I think it's, it's this just conversation. Like like right. Let me ask you now some, some questions that first attention. Do you believe God exists? I don't believe there's enough de evidence for God's existence. Okay, fair enough. That's the first statement. What evidence would suffice to convince you without a shadow of doubt that the Creator exists? Empirical. Empirical, okay? Explain a bit further. Any evidence, let's say. Any tangible evidence. Such as? Such as for existence. Uh, manifests itself, shows itself, does something that announces before that I'm doing it. Well, he can't. Any evidence that I exist. Fine. So if you heard a voice in the sky saying, I am God, believe in me, you would accept If I hear. Yeah, if you hear. No, it has to be spe uh, spe uh, substantiation by others. I am if we not. all heard that, just now, someone who is high saying, I am God, believe in yeah. me, that will be sufficient evidence to accept. It was objective enough, yes. What do you mean objective enough? Well, if, if it's not something like happened in Fatima. If we all heard a voice coming from the sky. Coming from the sky. You see sure. someone. You see some image. If, if God, right. God speaks and say, I'm God, and there are people from different groups of life. No, no. If all of us heard that, it will be sufficient be evidence. evidence. There be evidence. So that will be sufficient evidence. Yes. Yeah. And you would not even question that. That's hallucination. We need something. We need something replicable. I, I, I did give it to you. So as well as empirical, it needs to be replicable. Replicable. So you should match the. So that needs to be done twice or thrice, a few times, right? Someone needs to speak to you and saying, "I'm God from the sky," and you would accept it. Sure. And you would accept it? I'll have to, there's evidence for it. I'm not going to be against evidence. Wait, wait. So basically, if you heard from this guy a voice and you saw something, and you would be pretty much certain that he's God? Pretty much certain? No. That's what I'm asking you. Conviction and certainty, you're saying no. So that isn't an evidence. No. What you, kind of evidence would suffice you? You've changed your question. What have I said? Because first of all, you said if you heard that you believe there is some evidence, yes. I didn't say anything like that. I asked you first, what would be convincing evidence for you that will satisfy you? Compelling evidence. That example that I put off of you, would that be compelling and satisfactory for you? You sure? You sure? So if you heard a voice, 
and you saw something say on God, that is, you'll be absolutely certain now there, God exists. No, there has to be. So, look, what's the notion of God, first of all? Because every God is different. Hang on. This voice says, I am God. Are you now going to be absolutely certain that's and convinced? That's not enough. So that's why I'm asking you. The example that you initially was agreeing... But you see how confusing that is because there is no one singular notion of God. Let me, let me continue. I asked you for an example of a compelling evidence. Yes. That wasn't one. That's so, evidence. So try again. There's no evidence for one kind of God. Hang on. God, God. We're talking about God. The creator Which of the God? cosmos. He says, I am the creator of all things that exist. And I'm supposed to take the and, word. And, God. and, would that be compelling? You say no. So try another example that will be compelling for you. I'm saying, replicate that again. If that and happens shows, again. shows that thing or whatever the voice is, is capable enough to create something for you. So if something that like this voice, they create something, yes. and you believe in it, that yes, I'm if certain. there is evidence, yes, I will. What do you mean evidence? If what you ask for is provided, you believe in it. No, it's not. It's still in the same place. No, I am trying to establish what meets your criteria of satisfactory and compelling evidence. Every time we're trying to offer on your likings, it seems that it is never going to be satisfactory to you. That is why we, we are asking is, but the, what would be compelling to you, not to me. And what, what is the answer to that is, I, I'm not sure, unless I actually see something, and then I could deduce based on what's in front of me. Is that an acceptable answer? No, because oh, then wow. you will say, oh, it's not compelling. We want from you with your clean heart, we want simply from your heart saying, look, from your initial position, oh, there are no sufficient evidence for God. That's what you said, right? That's what you said. Yes. That means you are open to evidence. Yeah. That means you have an idea what that evidence looks like. If you don't have an idea what the evidence looks like, if you don't have an evidence idea what the evidence looks like, then you cannot say if sufficient evidence is provided to me, I will accept. Because you haven't got a clue what the sufficient evidence is. Yes, you are in a position with the unknown. That that be again making up your mind about the unknown. I'm saying once the evidence is presented, let's analyze nope, that nope, nope, and nope. do something. Absolutely that. not. Okay. You need maybe, to have. Maybe. Is wait, that wait, no wait, sensible wait, wait. thing to do? You need to have. Firstly, the moment you have a position, ideological position, there is no sufficient evidence to me yet to accept a god or a creator. Yes. That means you have some understanding of. What evidence will be compelling to you? No, if, no, 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 no. That means I'll see when the evidence comes forward and judge on the basis of the evidence. Absolutely not. No, you're just being argumentative. Absolutely not. No, you are Let's being move the conversation forward. I think, you, Let's I think say he's we're asking, we're what is your criteria? When you look for God, what criteria do you use? That if I find... I don't look for God. No, no, hear me out. So if I find X, Y, and Z, then that is what God is to me. Do you have such a criteria? No. Then how would you know what you're looking for? Because when the because evidence is unknown. provided, you are unknown. What do you mean unknown? unknown for you as well. No, no, when you say unknown, what do you mean? Are you, when you say you're looking for God... I, I never said that. So you're not looking for God? No. So you're not open to looking for God at all? No. There you I go. spend my day with it. Okay, look. My point is simple. That. When you say, when you say, when you say, I will analyze the evidence, the problem is this. When you look at the evidence, you will say, ah, that's not sufficient because you will shift the goalpost of what is sufficient to you. That is why from the very outset, let me finish, from the very outset, you should have some criteria which will determine sufficiency of evidence from the very beginning. So does that list of criteria, does it, are you saying that I have to have a comprehensive... No, 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 list? something that is okay, compelling so to you. Okay, so let's go with some things, okay. Yeah. So how do I know that this exists, yeah? It's tangible, it's empirical. That victory is uh, so noisy, honestly. It's replicable, we could break it down we, and Guys, can we, can we move there because... Exper experiments we can barely hear with victory. consistently give us the same results. Those would be some of the things on the list that I would be looking for in something that claims to be divinity. Okay. In fact, in fact, let's even go back. So shall we move? Victor's shouting. Guys, and how do you know Victor's going to follow us? Right. 
Do you believe that you exist? Or are you hyper-skeptical? Am I? Are you hyper-skeptical? No, I believe that I exist. Right. So, being in existence, is it possible because you exist, there was at some point in the past, there was absolute nothingness? Yes, I guess so. What is absolute nothingness to you? It's, it's a difficult question to answer. So it's when nothing exists. And I have to use the word nothing in the answer. I'm conscious of that. So what is absolute nothingness to you again? Clarify. It would be the absence of anything. Right. So if there was absence of anything and everything, could this result in something like you? And how do you, with your empirical evidence, come to that conclusion? That well, I think what we're going to do, just to, to jump ahead of this conversation, so what we're going to do is we're going to move to the point where we say there's no uncaused cause, yeah? So basically, nothing exists, so therefore, nothing could come of nothing. But if we take that line of thinking back, what you're going to say to me is there needs to be a cause for things to have exist. Your cause is going to be our last one of Allah. And you're going to say, because of him, he made things exist. But my question to that would be, well, what made this God exist? Uh, absolutely not. I am trying to work from foundational principles. You're trying to think ahead. No, no. You're trying to think ahead of response, counter response. No. Work with me. Since you exist I'm, I'm now, I'm just conscious of the pace of the conversation. Uh, since so. you exist now, there are only two logical possibilities. Either something always existed, or something always didn't exist. There is no third, is there? There's no not third. There is no third option. But I mean, I'm open to the possibility there might be an option we're not aware of. But if we say those are the only two See, options. Again, on what logical basis are you going to say, on a rational basis, there's a third option? In the, in the same basis that somebody might say that there's a God who has always existed. On what logical that basis? That nothing can exist without. Excuse me. Yeah. On what logical or rational basis are you positing a third option? Okay, so let's go with either nothing existed it's a logical or something always existed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what is the third? Go, well, let's go with that. No, no, no. What is the third option here? Is there a third? I don't know. Can you think of it rationally, logically? No, 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 I can't. Right. Well, let's go with this. So with our faculty that we have, we can only come to these two possibilities. Yeah. Right. Only I mean. So let's take the one with nothingness exists at some point. So now I would like to ask you. So which you, one are we taking? Say that again for me. Nothingness. Okay. So nothing. Nothingness is the absence of everything. That's the concept we are talking about. It has no energy. It has no quantum fluctuations. It has non-existence. It simply doesn't exist. Right? Can existence come from this non-existence? So, Using your logic and rationality, yeah. I expect an answer. So it, it sounds like nothing, nothing can come from that. So, so according to your... Not according to mine, according to your rationality. So can something come from nothing? I mean, it doesn't sound very persuasive, you're right. It it's, it's, it's so rationally, would you get rid of this possibility that it's not possible, rationally? I mean, I'm hesitant to get rid of it because I'm conscious of my own limited understanding and I don't think that quantum physics talks about nothing in the same sense where I'm saying but we are talking about quantum physics. We are not talking about quantum physics. We are talking about absolute nothingness and something. Conceptually, we can understand the contrast between the two. So, using the rational faculty that you have, are you saying that it is possible that nothingness, absolute nothingness, can be Christ? It sounds unlikely. It sounds unlikely. Now that you're breaking it down. No, no. When you say sounds unlikely, can you not be certain of that? So you're saying it's... I'm always open to a okay, margin of error. Okay, so let's understand that. So you're saying it's possible non-existence can do something. I'm saying it's unlikely, no, 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 hang but on. I'm always I'm open to a no, no, uh, no, window no. of possibility. I want to understand yeah. your position. Non-existence, which doesn't even exist. Doesn't even exist. Nothing exists. I feel like this is the third time I've asked you my question. I feel, I feel that you're not really engaging with this. If, if there is I'm not literally answering every flipping question you're asking no, no. me, how am I not engaging? So listen to what I'm trying yeah. to say then. So, non-existence, 
No, no, this is the thing, the phraseology, the phraseology of the question. There's nothing here, and you're saying to me, actually, are you saying to me, almost like you want me to commit to 100% certainty to say, actually, you're right. There's absolutely no way that nothing, that something can come from nothing. And what I'm saying to you, I'm probably about 99% on that, but I'm always open to a margin of error or a window of me not understanding something. Based on what? So I'm just going to, based on my that's, on human error, no, no, that's possibility, that possibility, that non-existence can give rise to existence. Um, where do you get that from? What kind of rational so basis do you so have? So what I'm saying is I'm, I'm, I'm open to our limitations as human beings in terms of our understanding, and I'm open to margins. Yeah. So that's it. But for the for for the grounds of your conversation, it's compelling. Your point is compelling. That nothing can come from nothing. That sounds very logical and it sounds very um, sensible. So, but I'm just leaving a one percent margin of error. But I want to talk about that. But you don't want to give me that margin of error to no, say I want to talk about one percent because sometimes as a human species, can I can I just rephrase it? You know why there's not even a point one percent margin of error? The reason for that is because nothing doesn't even exist. It's a concept. I've only got you. So nothing yeah. doesn't even exist. Do you, you think it exists? No, that's a really good point. Yeah, exactly. So 100% is impossible. So you're saying nothing doesn't exist. But Just like that, infinity that, doesn't wait, exist. Wait, wait. It doesn't mean that nothing anywhere, never existed. Do you, if you know what is nothing, then you will never use that argument or even question it. Because you I can, I can, I can appreciate the concept that nothing, to live there's where nowhere to find nothing so that the now. He's doing that on purpose. Is that so what you're nothing saying? Nothing means yeah. nothing. We're trying to have a conversation yeah. here, excuse yeah. me, don't interrupt Which us. Which means it doesn't exist. I'm not so talking to you. Nothing. I am not talking to you. Conceptually, it's a concept. Yeah. Yeah. So 100% yeah. sure from a scientific, so, logical, so scientific so logical perspective. We'll go with his logic that actually there's no sense of nothing existing. But so you that, believe that just because nothing doesn't you exist crazy. now. You believe that the sun says it never will exist. It will never exist. Because it's a concept, my friend. It's a concept. You believe that this is a concept. Is, for example, like just like infinity doesn't exist, the in order for us to communicate as a language. Do you feel like we're getting stuck on the Oh, we need to just come out of here. It's coming up. I should have done that earlier. All of the, all of the people. Okay, that's enough. Yeah. If he comes now, then he's doing it on I, purpose. I am trying to understand yeah. that margin of error. How is it even sensible? Okay, listen, I'm going to give it up. I'm going to give it up. Because I just want the conversation to move through. So, okay, no, 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 no. I don't want to just give it up for the sake of giving it up. I want to understand. I think you should understand. Really? Listen, I can't stand here and calculate this one point in the ad infinitum for us forever. So, but, but that I'm going to always keep a 1% open because I'm conscious of still our limited are you one percent oh, okay okay is there anything that you're hundred percent certain of like your existence do you exist hundred percent certain or there's one percent error no, no, when... there's some error in that there's some margin of error about conceptually do I exist in a way that no 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 do you really exist the binary positions are you're absolutely non-existent or you're existent you're saying there is a margin of error or, or possibility that let me finish my point options. It's possible you're saying that maybe 0.001% that you don't exist. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. no. I'm saying like... Are you 100% certain that you exist? I, I'm confident I exist, yeah. Almost no, I'm asking about confidence. Yeah. Almost, maybe 99%. Still I like, 99, to, oh I like to leave a margin of error. No, that 1% like, yeah. is possible that you don't exist. Yeah. Yeah? So we're yeah, I like to give a margin of error. Because really? I'm, I'm open to things that we don't know. Or maybe I don't exist in the way that I think I exist. No, it's not about the way. It's about existence. Either you exist or you don't exist. Okay. So can we get back to the... No, we can't. I'm sorry. Either... Okay. Uh, we're, we're done here. We're done here. I know. Thank it's you. It's a bit boring. Yeah, it's... That one percent that you don't exist, it's possible. I'm sorry, I can't continue on.